Hi, this is Julie with Beadaholic, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make the gemstone memory wire bracelet kits, which are exclusive kits by Beadaholic. So we have a couple different um, types of gemstones here. We've got amethyst with a pretty little nun design lotus charm. We have lapis with the infinity charm. We have turquoise with the ohm symbol, rose quartz with a pretty little moon. And then we have this one here, which has uh, several different types of gemstones, some colorful ones combined with a little triangle charm, and these are turquoise here. So what you get when you buy an exclusive Beta Holly kit is everything you need to make that particular item. So here I have the ingredients for this one. We're calling this the kaleidoscope because it's so fun and colorful. So with this kit here, you're going to get what you see here. You're gonna get the memory wire. It's been pre-cut for you, which is important because memory wire requires special memory wire cutters. You don't ever wanna cut it with your regular flush cutters. It will damage them. You're gonna get wood beads. You're gonna get these pretty turquoise beads. You're gonna get these little gold beads, the charm, a jump ring for the charm, these lovely little colorful gemstone beads here, and some noodle beads. So all the supplies you need to make that bracelet. And then for tools, really simple tools. You're gonna to need a round nose plier, a couple pairs of chain nose pliers just to open that jump ring, a pair of scissors to cut your strands of beads, and just some tape. So let's go ahead and begin. All right, so let's go back to our ingredients now. So the memory wire, if you're not familiar with it, I wanna show you what it is, because it's the main component to what uh, is gonna be the foundation and the structure for our bracelets. So this is memory wire, looks much like a slinky, and it holds its shape, and it's pretty springy. And so what you do is you start on one end, and you thread your beads on, and then you have them rest up against the bottom end. And you'll notice on these bracelets, both ends are finished with a little simple wire loop. Now what we're gonna do to start is we're not going to make that loop. We are gonna put a little bit of tape on the end. And the reasoning behind this is if we were to make that loop, and let's say you did all your um, stringing of your beads and you got to the very end of the project and you decided, hey, I really wish that there was an extra turquoise bead down there at the beginning. Well, you would have to cut off that loop. And since you couldn't use just regular cutters, you'd have to use memory wire cutters. So I kind of want to avoid that. Or, you know, the other option would be you'd have to take off all your beads and then restring them all just to add an extra bead or two down here. So let's not do that when we can very simply just put some tape about a quarter of an inch from the end and have the tape act as our bead stopper. So that's going to prevent the beads from falling off. And now we're going to cut our strands. Yeah, beads everywhere. So <laughs> yeah, if you have a cat, they'll probably have fun if you have beads that go flying. I know they do for me all the time. So we got some of the wood beads started. And like in this kit, you can see you're obviously getting extra beads beyond what you're going to be needing. So you'll be able to use them for another project. So sometimes our kits do that when, you know, we have an entire strand of beads and you're not going to quite need all of them. You do sometimes end up with extra. It just depends upon the kit. So in the instructions for this kit, the way I wrote them that I thought would be easiest to follow was I divided all the different types of beads into what I'm calling segments. So if you look at this bracelet, You'll see a segment of three of the turquoise beads is repeated often. A segment of five wood beads with a gold bead between them is repeated often. A segment of eight of these um, pretty little colorful gemstones is repeated often. So let me show you what these segments actually look like. So there is a segment of the turquoise. Let's count out eight of the gemstones. And these are dyed magnesite, if you're curious what type of gemstone they are. So let's see, that's eight of them. And then for the wood one, it's gonna be a wood and metal combo. So a segment looks like that. So wood bead, metal, wood, metal, wood, metal, wood, metal, wood, and then just a noodle bead. So those are your main elements to this bracelet and they're just repeated over and over again in a certain pattern 
to get this look. And then if you look at say a gemstone one here that has more of the gemstone chips, we are uh, actually one fewer segment because we don't have the colorful one. And it's just like a segment of a couple inches of a gemstone chip. And that's what's written in the instruction. So it'll tell you to do the noodle bead, the wood, um, the wood bah, metal bead <laughs> combo, a noodle, so on and so forth. And then I'll tell you to do a couple inches of your gemstone chips. All right, so now let's start the actual project. That was just a little bit of preliminary to help you understand the instructions when you do get this kit. So for this one here, it starts with three turquoise. So just string them right on to your memory wire. And then it talks about needing a segment of rondelles. So that is going to go ahead and be eight rondelles. And I like, you get quite a few different colors. I like to mix up the colors so I don't have like all pinks as one segment, all purples as another, but you can do whatever you want. This is your design. So that's something to keep in mind too. Definitely feel free to deviate from the pattern. Have fun, put them on in whatever order you want. You're gonna get a lot of beads to play with. Okay, so the next one we're gonna need is a noodle. And the noodle just goes right over that memory wire. And it comes out the end. So once you've done a few, go ahead and scoot them down. And to scoot them down, just work them by pushing them down your memory wire. until they end up on that bottom row and are resting against that tape end. I'm gonna do a few more, and then what it will be is, in your instructions, it will give you the exact pattern to follow. So basically what you're seeing here, where it's a segment of this, a segment of that. So after that noodle, it needed a wood bead segment. So wood, metal, wood, metal, wood, metal, wood, metal, and wood. And then after that, we're gonna do three more of our turquoises. followed by another noodle. Now I do wanna show you something. The noodles are a little hard to shimmy, but you can oftentimes shimmy the other beads. And what I mean by that is just hold your memory wire like this and just swirl your beads down. The only one that doesn't swirl so well is the noodle bead. And that one you just have to kind of push down. And so we really have one complete round. And then that's all you're gonna do. You're just gonna continue on. It's really simple, it's really fun. Look at your pattern as you go, especially with the ones that have the gemstone chips. And so as you're building it up, look and see like, oh, you know, I really would like an extra wood bead there. I'd really like a few extra gemstone chips, you know, to, to go a little further. Add them, you're gonna get plenty of supplies to do that. So feel free to go ahead and just have fun in that way of your designing. All right, let me add a couple more things and then I will do the rest off camera. And then I'm gonna show you how to come back, create a simple wire loop to finish it on both ends and attach your charm. So let me just do a few more here. So I left off, let's see, I did a turquoise and then a noodle and now I need another wood segment. And the wood segment is always going to be the same. It's going to be the um, wood bead, metal bead, wood bead, metal bead, etc. So you have the combo of the uh, five of the wood beads and four of the metal beads. And that's true for all of these kits. So then we're going to do that one. And then let's see what our next one is going to be is a turquoise. Let me shimmy these guys down. And then I think you probably have gotten the idea of how you go about building these bracelets. 
There we go. Just keep on doing that, following the instructions that come with the kit, and then I'll show you what it looks like when we're all done and how to finish it off. All right, I've done almost all of my beading, and I wanna show you a couple quick tips before I finish it off. So once you've got about this much, go ahead and really make sure that they're all right down at the base. Just kind of make sure that they're tight so that you don't have a big gap hidden somewhere. Maybe a noodle bead got stuck midway down or something. You just don't want to have a big gap and then finish off your bracelet and be like, oh no. So that is one tip. Now you have got about this much, about half a coil left. And I've noticed, especially with these guys, because the gemstone chi chips really vary in size, even if you follow my instructions exactly, your bracelet is gonna kind of finish up a little bit different. And that's great. That's part of the beauty of these guys. So when you have about half a coil left, just look at your design and kind of be like, well, what would look good right here? You can still follow the instructions, but like, I'm like, oh, you know what? We haven't had any wood over in this section for a little bit. So I think I'm gonna add a wood segment. So you kind of go a little bit off the instructions right at the end, if you feel like it, so that it's just more aesthetically pleasing. I'm gonna add a wood. Okay, and now I'm looking and I'm like, hmm, what, what might look good next? And so here, thinking maybe a few more turquoise. Okay, so that's good. Got a nice balance happening, especially when I look at it like from here. So let's go ahead and add some rondelles. I'm just gonna add the rondelles that I have left. Okay, and you know what? I think I'd really like to finish it with a little bit more wood because we got the noodle here, we got the um, turquoise here, and we have the wood down below here. So let me finish it with wood. And what's nice about the wood too is we can kind of customize how long we wanna make it because like the noodle bead is a fixed width. So we'd have to make sure we had a spot that was big enough for it. So now that we've done that, we're ready to finish it off. Again, shake it a little bit, make sure there's no gaps, and I've got about a quarter of an inch left. So to finish it off, you just take your round nose pliers, grip the memory wire end between the two noses, and rotate, and you're making a little loop. And then put your other nose back in it, rotate some more so you have a nice closed loop, and then your beads are not going anywhere. Now you can flip your bracelet over, and if you want, you can inspect it from this side and see if you wanna change anything up, and if you do, you would just simply take that tape off and then unstring your beads from this end and add them however you want, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. So again, just make that nice loop. Make sure it's closed, and then that's gonna stop your beads. And we have a finished bracelet. Now we just have to add the charm. So to add the charm, we're gonna take our chain nose pliers and we the kit comes with an open jump ring. So to open it, just to put it between the two pliers with the open slit facing the top, twist, add your charm, attach it to your loop. And again, this is why you wanna make sure that that loop was nice and, and closed. It was a full loop. Close it back up. And there's our little charm on our kaleidoscope gemstone memory wire bracelet. So again, we've got the kaleidoscope one, we have an amethyst, we have a lapis, a turquoise chip one, and a rose quartz one. And they all have different charms by Nun Design on them. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial showing you how to make the memory wire gemstone kits, which are exclusive kits by Beadaholic.